Well, it can only take a little time for this bitter cold weather to turn dangerous. Joining us from Providence Park Hospital is Dr. Theodore Shively. And Dr. Shively, thank you so much for joining us today. And you have sat here and you've heard us make reports on several deaths from shoveling snow. When does it become dangerous and what are the warning signs that we must look out for? Thanks, Diana. Thanks for having me. The danger of the cold weather is not only that it's cold, which increases our effort for work, but also we're doing activities which often are unusual for us. How many times has it been since we've sort of put off that trip to the gym only to find that we've got to hurry up and shovel some very heavy snow, causing us to do work which isn't really customary for us? Unfortunately, for many people, the early signs of heart disease are, in fact, a chest pain or shortness of breath that comes on very quickly. It may not be enough time for us to summon help. And so when we're active on a regular basis, when we're out there on a regular basis being active and, and exerting ourselves, we can tell then whether or not we're having those early symptoms of a change in stamina. So when you start feeling something, your, your chest is uncomfortable, you feel pain, it is time to stop. It is time to stop. If you get to the point where you can't breathe comfortably, where you're starting to feel like you're a little lightheaded or dizzy, don't wait for chest pain. That's way too late. You're going to have to stop and take a breath, make sure that you're comfortable. Sometimes it takes, a t uh, as, as was suggested earlier, to take a break and go inside, get warmed up, and see how it's going. And I've heard several reports of people in the comfort of their home heart rate normal, you're staying and you're warm, and then you go outside to bitter cold temperatures, and the bitter cold expedites the heart rate. Is that true? Exactly. The bitter cold causes us to have to work hard to warm that air up. You can substantially reduce the work by covering your mouth and nose with a scarf or with your hand, and to take your time and to walk slowly and carefully, unless you're used to that kind of weather, dress for it and prepared for it. We'd have to be especially careful for those that are elderly and for those that are very young. Say people that are waiting on the bus stop for a long time or those that are elderly. So if you know somebody in your family or community that's older or maybe going to have difficulty with this heavy snow, take a chance to check on them. Maybe you can help them out and keep them from having to do this heavy work in the snow. Dr. Shively, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.